Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve rational equations. By the way guys, meron na tayong mga videos or marami na tayong videos with regards to solving rational equations. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a single problem wherein I hope na makuha niyo yung method natin on how to solve this kind of rational equation. We have 1 over x minus 4 plus x over x minus 2 is equal to 2 over x squared minus 6x plus 8. Ngayon guys, ang target natin dito is to solve for the value of x that will satisfy this given rational equation. Pero, Kailangan mo na natin makita or malaman ano ba talaga yung nagpapahirap sa problem na to. Okay? Ang problem dito or nagpapahirap dito or what makes it difficult is that we have the denominators. We have x minus 4. We have x minus 2. We have x squared minus 6x plus 8 as our denominator. And to solve this, we need to remove that difficulty which is the denominator. And ang target natin ngayon is to find the least common denominator. Or dinatawag natin L L C D. So para makuha natin yung L C D, we will make sure na factored out or wala na iba pang factors yung denominator natin. So let's start with X minus 4. X minus 4 ay okay na yan. Hindi na siya pwedeng factor out. As well as X minus 2. But, as you can see, your trinomial here, X squared minus 6X plus 8 can be factored out as x minus 4 times x minus 2. Any factors niya. And kung makansin nyo, meron siyang factor na kaparehas ng denominator nito at meron siyang factor na kaparehas ng denominator nito. So, what can I say is that the LCD or the least common denominator is x minus 4 times x minus 2. Sir, after finding out what is the LCD, what's next? What you will do is you will multiply the whole equation by that LCD. So it will go like this. You will multiply the whole equation. X minus 4 times X minus 2. Sa kabila naman, that is X minus 4 times X minus 2. So what will happen is that we will multiply each term by the each term of the equation by the LCD. So it will go like this. Multiply natin to. Ito muna. X minus 4 times X minus 2 times 1 over X minus 4 is the same as 1 times X minus 4 times X minus 2 over X minus 4. Ito 1 natin, since 1 lang naman yan, we can... Uh, make it invisible yung coefficient na yan. Next natin gagawin guys is to figure out what will happen here. Since ang target natin is to eliminate the denominator, guys, after multiplying this, you can cancel this out and you can cancel this out. Kasi meron siyang denominator at meron siyang numerator. So what will happen is that we only have x minus 2. Yun lang meron tayo. Now, Multiply this to the second term in which it will give us plus x times x minus 4 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 as your denominator. As you can see, meron only time pwede cancel out or eliminate. Cancel, cancel, and it will give us plus x times x minus 4. And then as for this term, Pag multiply natin ito, to make it short, ito kasi mangyari nyo guys, we have 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 2 over x minus 4 times x minus 2. Ginamit ko yung factored form guys. So what will happen, we can eliminate this, eliminate this, cancel this out, and cancel this out, and what will remain is 2. So now as you can see, after multiplying the LCD to the whole equation, wala na tayong denominators. So, medyo madali na siyang tignan. And what we will do is to simplify the equation. By distributive property, 
I will multiply it one by one. We have x minus two plus x squared because x times x is x squared. And then x times negative four is minus four x and equal to two. And next step, nothing, guys, is to write the equation in standard form. In standard form, it will go like this: x squared. Uh, we can combine. Wait, we can combine. We can combine this one. X and negative four x, so it will go like this: minus three x. Okay, tama? Minus three x. Tapos ito naman yung transpose natin sa kabila. So we have negative two. Magiging negative two kasi to. Ilagay natin dito. Ito naman. Pag dilipat natin, it will become negative two. That is minus two. Is equal to zero. And to make it short, your negative two minus negative two natin is the same as minus or minus four. Is equal to zero. Now, as you can see, we have now a quadratic equation. So what we will do is to factor out this to find solve for x, and the factors are x minus four times x plus one is equal to zero. Okay. So solving for the value of x, we can equate each factor by zero. We have x minus four is equal to zero, and then x plus one is equal to zero. Now, guys, transpose this to the other side. That will give us x is equal to positive four. And transposing this to the other side, it will give us x is equal to negative one. So now, hindi pa natin pwede declare na sagot na natin si four and negative one. Sir, bakit po? Because this is a rational equation. We need to check if kaya ba niyang satisfy yung equations. Okay, let's go with x is equal to four. If x is equal to 4, look, when we substitute x as 4, it will give us 4 minus 4. We're in magiging 0 denominator, in which bawal yun. Okay, sa rational equation, bawal maging 0 ang denominator ng isang term. It will give us undefined, okay? Ngayon, so hindi pa ito. How about negative 1? When we try to uh, substitute negative 1 for the value of x, okay, let's try. Uh, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, okay, siya. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, okay, siya. Ibig sabihin yan, the solution set, or the value of x is equal to negative 1, at yung sagot natin, or the solution set is negative one. Ito na mismo yung mga sagot natin, guys. Now, I hope, guys, na nakuha niyo yung method natin on how to solve rational equations and at the end, nakita niyo sana na meron tayong restriction wherein hindi pwedeng maging value x c positive 4. So, I hope, guys, na natuto kayo sa video natin and again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!